I had my doubts about what it could have been. I thought it was a bear at first glance, but the aggressive behaviors and footprints don't lie. All of the evidence I found points to a dog man. So let me tell you how I arrived at this conclusion. The first night this all started was a few months ago. I was woken up by something tapping on the window to my bedroom, which sounded like a fingernail on the glass. Light tapping, but enough to wake me. So I woke up, made some coffee, and grabbed a glass of water and went outside. I sat down and had a smoke and then heard some odd noises. It was a weird, like, clicking sound, but not chicadas or grasshoppers. I'm used to those. Then about five minutes later, a growling sound. Very deep, but short. This was around 3 a.m. So my coffee was done about 20 minutes later. I grabbed a cup and went back outside to my porch. I took my first sip and then I heard this blood curdling scream about 150 feet behind my porch, maybe the next block over. Well, I finished my coffee and I was walking inside And just as I opened my glass slider, something attacked my porch door, beat the hell out of it for almost five minutes straight, and scared the hell out of me. So I rushed inside, got another cup of coffee, and waited about 20 minutes, looking out the kitchen window to see if anything was there. Being that my backyard is completely dark, I'm not sure what I expected. But I gave up waiting and went back outside. So I sat down again and was drinking my coffee. And I heard what sounds like my neighbor's new aluminum fence getting the crap beat out of it. I was looking on my side and nothing. My guess is it went to the other side of his property to beat the hell out of the panels but it stopped quickly and that was that no noise for the rest of the morning fast forward two months around thanksgiving 2020 i was woken up again at 3 a.m same nails on the window event but strangely my dogs hadn't barked either time so i was suspicious I made my way outside, coffee ready, iPhone up in case there was something there, and nothing. So I began talking on the phone with my trucker buddies about what had happened before Thanksgiving, and they didn't have a clue. Mind you, we all grew up in these woods, well before the internet was invented, so we naturally played in the woods. About two hours went by and the sun was up enough that I could kind of make out this shape in the woods behind my house. It was about five feet five and just standing in this position for a good 45 minutes. I managed to get a picture of it, but it's poor quality. But the rest of the day and that night will live with me forever. Not two hours later, I heard this tree branch snap off and something crashed to the ground. Something heavy. No mistaking that sound for a tree falling over. Turns out, in a tree on the edge of my neighbor's property, about 25 feet up, a large branch, about five inches diameter, 
was just twisted off and snapped like a twig. It was still hanging there. It didn't even touch the ground, but it was about 12 feet long. I did have a look in the woods for a bit to see if I could find anything. It's mostly one obvious human trail that is used often, then two to three small animal trails, and a really crappy makeshift trail with broken trees littering the outline of the sides of the trail. Quite a bit of big stuff to climb over. Logs piled like I've seen and heard about, odd like teepee shape, and several grass beds throughout the woods. One was recent, the other ones didn't look too comfortable. So I got done exploring and went inside for a drink and went out to my garage where I can work on stuff I had been doing for a while. We recently moved to this house, <laughs> so stuff isn't quite unpacked yet. So as I was going through the boxes and stuff, I heard this loud ruckus coming from the small 25 acre plot across the street from me. Something big was moving the palmetto bushes and there was a large dead tree knocked down before, but something cracked it open was probably eating the grubs, I assume. But the sound quickly went away. I heard whatever it was run north towards the canal which is super close, maybe 90 feet from my driveway. Fast forward again to 10 p.m. I was still in my garage, but the door was closed at this time. I accidentally banged on the garage door and I heard something on the other side. Bang back. Me thinking it was my kids being the teenagers they are, I banged again. Then I heard this really loud growl. So I ran out of my garage and threw the house to the outside part and saw that the trash cans were open and my Thanksgiving turkey carcass, which was in a box, had been taken. But the rancid smell stayed. I followed this smell to my backyard and called a buddy who'd seen stuff in the woods. And he told me to be calm and move slow. Heeding his advice, I turned off my porch light and I was sitting out there smoking a cigarette. Then I heard my bushes on the corner of the house being brushed loudly. I turned around and I heard something large trample the grass down the side of my yard. The neighbor's dog was going crazy barking at it. But I'm not stupid enough to chase it into the street. Where's it going to go? So I stayed on my porch and waited. Then I saw this big six foot blackish thing run by from the other side of my house and run behind my neighbor's house. His security lights kicked on and it ducked behind their above ground pool. It was crouched over and I could see it. It was twice the width of me, easily 400 to 500 pounds. The following day, I found a foot or paw print on an abandoned anthill in my yard that I had exterminated weeks prior. The morning dew ruined the footprint the next morning, but I have a picture for size comparison. So what makes me think it's a dog man? Well, we have a marsh close by that's about 20 by 20 square miles in size with no trails or roads in or out. There is a waterway within 100 feet of my house that is 12 to 15 feet deep. I grow a lot of my own vegetables and fruits, and some have come up missing. As far as the woods behind my house go, there are several trails. Some are obviously human as they are used frequently by the neighbors. And there are small animal trails which are obvious. And then there are the trails that don't make any sense. They zigzag through viney bramble areas. They're hard to navigate. The trees surrounding the trails are all 
mostly broken off and leaning like a Bigfoot would do. But I haven't found any structures yet or any markers and certainly no bones. However, I also received a gift of a pile of leaves on my doorstep one morning. The leaves are from plants in my backyard and have no possible way of magically appearing there. So y'all can take it for all it's worth. If you're ever in the Lehigh Acres, Florida area, something big in the woods might make you as nervous as a cat in a room full of rockers.